Peace be with you. Thank you for joining with our internet community. We're reflecting today on Psalm 70. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust, O Lord, since my youth. On you I have leaned from my birth, from my mother's womb you have been my help. My hope has always been in you. My fate has filled me with awe, but you are my strong refuge. My lips are filled with your praise, with your glory all day long. Do not reject me now that I am old. When my strength fails, do not forsake me. Each day is a womb of life, pregnant with courage, challenge, goodness, and seeds of a new beginning. On you I have leaned since my youth. We know from archaeology that pottery has been around for thousands of years. Museums are full of potteries embracing different millennia. And traditionally, during the January sales, I've enjoyed going into the Kilkenny Design Centre and seeing the uniqueness of individual potters' projects on sale. Each potter has their own unique style and finished product, but they all start from the same lump of clay. It may not look much, but it has huge potential. The, pot, the potter potentially works with it, allowing it to take shape. Even if it falls out of shape, the potter will patiently start again. It's no surprise that God has been compared to a potter, not only in popular spirituality, but indeed in the Hebrew scriptures. Like a potter, God works with us gently. There is recognition of our uniqueness and the something special which we all have. Like clay that sometimes falls out of shape, we also make mistakes. But that's never a reason for God to punish us and push us to one side. We are in daily formation, constantly trying to do our best, growing and maturing while learning new things about ourselves and indeed others. The question is, are we open to this ongoing formation within ourselves? Let us pray. You, O oh God, are our place of refuge. You continue to call us forth to be your people in a world of division and to distress. Help us to be a people of faith, joy and love in the midst of this pandemic. Peace be with you.